guys, TSL here, back with a brand new video. In today's video, we'll be continuing our Superpower Training Simulator Remaster tutorial, and we'll be making training zones, or at least starting them. So the first thing I think we should do is actually make the model for the training zones. So we're just going to have a part, uh, we'll just make it a square. Alright, so here is going to be our part, and this is basically just going to be the actual zone. Uh, so like, if you want a really big zone, just make the part like really big. So basically what we want to do is like, let's say this is going to be our endurance zone or our strength zone. Here we'll do a strength zone. We just want to name the part strength space zone and then space the zone number. So we'll do like zone one for instance. Uh, inside of this, we're going to want some values. Let's insert an int value. Actually two of them. This first one is going to be the multiplier. And we're just gonna set it to times two for the first zone. And the value, so this is the requirement, so we'll change this to rec, will be 100. So you need 100 strength to use this zone to get a two times multiplier. Then what we could also do is add in a billboard GUI and a text label, text label inside of that. And we can just say, we could just call it like rec display. And here we can make this bold and we could just say uh, two times strength dash 100 strength 100 plus strength so something like that not 1100 and we could basically just make this size 1 comma 0 comma 1 comma 0 and then make the billboard GUI size 1 comma 0 comma 1 comma 0 can make the background transparency to one problem here is that we need to make always on top and then we can just make this wider to like 50 all right we can also change the text color if we want so we can make it like red all right that looks fine we can just scale it up just a little bit for text scale all right so now we have our strength zone and we want to actually like make it do stuff right so what we're going to do is make a folder inside of the workspace and this is going to be called training zones and this is just going to have all of our training zones in it so we're just going to move our training zone into that folder and we're actually going to make another folder in there and this one will be strain zones and move the strain zone in there all right so now that we have our strength zone so uh, training zone we're gonna actually start scripting it so what we're gonna want to do is go into server storage and go to our helper functions and I'm just gonna zoom in so basically what we want here is to make a function right and this is going to be function helpers dot is in usable usable zone and we're gonna take a player and we're going to take a stat name. Okay, so in this function, the first thing we want to get is our character. So Google character is equal to player dot character. If not character, then return an end. So if we didn't find our player's character, then we just want to get out of it because that means like they're dead and you don't want to let them use the training zone when they're dead. Uh, next thing we want local stat is equal to our player dot physical stats and we'll find first child of our stat name and our multi name it's going to be equal to player dot or actually actually here we just want to get our multiplier right so it's just going to be the same thing as this uh, so just paste that in there and then what we're going to do is our zone multi by default it's going to be one right and our humanoid root part is going to be equal to character dot primary part 
and the origin local origin will be equal to hrp dot position okay so now we want to make a range um, and this variable is important and I'll show you why in a second so we're gonna make it 12 and a half studs right so that means we can be like 12 and a half studs like above the zone uh, we can't be 12 and a half studs away from the zone because what you're gonna see here in a second is we're gonna like cast a ray down from our player to check if they're in the zone so they can be here let's actually see what 12 and a half studs looks like if we go here into the size property right here we can make it one comma 12 and a half comma zero or comma one i should do all right so they can be this high above the zone and we can like make it taller if you want so i don't know if you guys think this looks fine here we could just do 30. So if you are 30 studs above the zone, then you will still be counted as in the zone. Uh, so like if you're on a tree, because you know how in Super Power Training Simulator, in that one psychic zone, that you could still be on a tree. Uh, stuff like that, you'll be able to still be on an elevated surface in the zone. Then we're gonna make a direction variable, and that's just gonna be the direction that the ray will be casted. So we don't want it to go anywhere on the X, we want it to go to our range on the Y, so negative 30 steps down on the Y, and then nowhere on the Z. So we'll get our raycast, raycast parameters, params equals to raycast params dot new, and we just want to raycast params, the lowercase one, our variable, uh, dot filter descendant instances is equal to uh, game dot workspace dot training zone so basically what this line does is if the ray hits anything like let's say it hits let's say we had a part here right let's say this part right if the ray hits this part uh, let's say we're above this part the ray gets casted down and the ray hits this part it won't actually count as the ray hitting this part because it is not a descendant of the training zones. So what that line is doing is it's making sure that it only counts hits for descendants of the training zones folder, which is why we have that folder. Then the next thing we just want to raycast params dot filter type is equal to enum dot raycast filter type dot whitelist. So whitelist will make it, um, you know, do exactly what I said. But if we made this blacklist, then that would mean it would detect hits only for everything that's not in the train zone. And whitelist has actually been um, deprecated since I made this script. So we're going to actually uh, inc use raycast filter type dot include. That is the new version of whitelist. Okay, so now let's actually cast the ray. So we'll say local zone ray is equal to ray dot new origin. So we're gonna start from the origin and go to the direction, go in the direction. Uh, we're gonna have a hit a zone variable to false. And we'll get if our zone ray, so if our zone ray is not new, then we wanna get a zone, which is gonna be workspace colon find part on ray with whitelist and it's going to take in our zone ray and our workspace dot training zones is the whitelist uh, colon get descendants so this is just going to find us the zone that we hit so right now we only have one zone so we're going to just assume that our ray hit that strength zone one uh, and this is going to be saved in this zone variable. Alright, so now we're going to make sure zone is not nil by checking if zone. Uh, if zone is, if there was a zone found, then we want to check if string dot split zone dot name, comma, and then we just want to split it at every space. And then the first index is equal to stat name, then so what this if statement is checking is it's checking that we are actually in the zone for the stat that we want to be in. 
So for example, if we are passing in endurance as the stat name, uh, then this will return false because we only have the strength zone. So this first string dot split will split it at every at every space, right? So it's going to look make a list that looks like this. Uh, strength zone and then one, right? Uh, it will be capital because we have in capital, but I'm not going to go back and fix that, right? So the first index is this strength, which is the actual um, stat name, right? Which is why it's important that it's capitalized because in our when we make the strength variable or the strength value here, you see it's capitalized. So this is going to be checking that we have the right stat. Okay, so then we want to check if our big num dot mt dot ge standing for greater than or equal to stat dot value and zone dot rec dot value so this is just making sure that we have enough of the stat to actually use the zone and if we do then we want to set our zone multi equal to the zone dot multiplier dot value and we can set hit a zone to true. Then finally, at the end of this function, we want to return our zone multiplier and our hit a zone. Okay, so now we're going to want to go back up to our train function and add in our zone multi. So we'll move this down, and then right here we'll have our local zone multi, comma, hit a zone is going to be equal to. Uh, helpers dot is in usable zone pass in our player and our stat name and then what we're gonna want to do is just in here we're just going to want to multiply by our zone multi as well um, so the nice thing about doing it this way is we won't have to have like a constant while loop a constant while loop running to check uh, to cast array and check if we're in the zone we're only going to actually be checking when the uh, player is training because you know when you're punching uh, every time you punch it's going to check if you're in that zone instead of constantly checking like every second or something and yes i know this series will actually have the uh, endurance going up by itself that will be a thing okay so anyways at the end of this we're going to want to return hit a zone as well all right so i think that's actually it for our zone so if we go ahead and press play then we can go to our server real quick where did that go they changed this uh, we could go to our player and we can check we can make the multiplier or no we'll just give ourselves a hundred strength Okay, so we have 100 strength. If I punch right now, I'm only getting one strength. But if we go over to this training zone of ours, now you see I'm getting two strength every click. Now if I exit it, I'm only getting one again. And now I'm getting two again. So yes, this training zone uh, is a lot better than the one we had in our last series. Uh, probably one of the biggest improvements. And not only that, but it's like a lot more consistent and just better. Okay, so now uh, we could just duplicate this for every stat. And basically the way we'll do this is instead of strength zone one, where is the name of this part? It's just not showing up. We're just gonna have endurance zone one instead. And we can go inside here to our billboard GUI and requirement display. And we could just say endurance, endurance, make it green. And then for this one, we will just name it psychic, psychic zone one. We will change the requirement display. I will make it pink first of all. Then we will do two times psychic, 100 plus psychic. Okay. All right. So now this should, um, well, actually, it shouldn't work yet because we need to make the folders in here for our psychic zone stuff. This folder will be psychic 
zones and we'll drag our psychic zone one into there and then we will need the folder for our endurance zones and this we could just call endu zones because endurance is too long to type and this actually doesn't have an effect but the names of the actual zones do like i was telling you before all right so let's test out all of these zones real quick and then we'll be done all right so right now uh first of all training zones is not a valid member of workspace it's a bit odd okay so um it looks like i did not realize that something was selected before training zones okay now that should be fine i don't know if you guys caught that okay so now uh, you see we're just getting one of every stat and if i go to the strength zone i'm thankfully still getting one of every stat uh, and now if I'll just show you for the endurance zone too, still getting one but if I go to our server and I give a hundred of every stat okay now if I go into the endurance zone I'm getting two and if I go out of it I'm getting one if I go into the strength zone I'm getting two go out of it I'm getting one outside of the psychic zone I'm getting one go inside and I'm now getting two so as you see all the zones are working great and yeah all right guys that will be it for today's video next video we'll probably make it so that the psychic zone or the psychic tool rather would actually work like the psychic tool does where you know you meditate and it just counts up by itself oh uh, we might add some animations then too not too sure yet but that is it for today's video. If you guys would like to see something specific next in this series, then just make sure to comment it down below, and I'll be sure to at least consider it. Alright guys, see you in the next one.